Hi guys, Moe Beach here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to talk about a really exciting trade that I just did with my friend Angie. Before I launch into this great successful trade video, there's a couple things I want to mention. Trading can be very dangerous and it can be a very easy way to get scammed. So before I get started, I just want to caution you. While I've had a successful trade in this video, meaning I had a bag that my friend Angie want and I mailed it to her and she had a bag that I wanted and she mailed it to me without exchanging money, it can be very dangerous because easily a stranger or someone you don't trust could just mail you an empty box and then your handbag is gone. You really have no recourse to get it back. Um, there's no PayPal or eBay or anyone backing you up. So you really have to be careful doing this and only do it with personal friends and people that you absolutely trust. Angie and I have been friends for many years and we have frequented a lot of the same collector groups on Facebook and we chat all the time on Messenger. So I felt very comfortable trading with her and trusting her. She also has a channel here on YouTube called Angie and Andy, and I want to link that below in the description box. So definitely go check out the link so you can see her handbag videos. And also you'll be seeing the bag that I traded her on her channel. And you might be kind of surprised to see what this trade was because I actually got back a bag that I used to have that I absolutely regret selling because it was so beautiful, so functional. I loved it and it was very rare. And at the time I didn't think I needed it. I had another bag that was similar, so I sold it and then I have regretted it since. And this bag is the Dooney and Burke uh, Florentine leather binocular bag. And this is in this super rare color violet, which is like a hot pink with a touch of purple to it. It's really stunning in person. And it's one of those chameleon colors where depending on the lighting, it can look a little more purple or it can look a little more pink. I had this bag. I loved it. I had another bag that was more rare in the same color. So I decided to keep the more rare one and sell this and not a month went by when a collector came to me wanting that rare one and offered me buckets and buckets of money for it. So much money that I could not even justify holding on to it. So I ended up selling it and then regretting that I let this go because it was just like so close to one another. If I had just waited like one more month to sell this, I would have still had it. And I could have just sold the other one and kept this this whole time. So. I always regretted it. It's very rare color and especially in this binocular style, it's hard to find. So when my friend Angie put it up for sale, I was like, I kind of want that because I regret selling mine. And I've been getting re, re reacquainted with the style and how much I love just this binocular bag style in general. It is so functional. If you've not had uh, Dooney and Burke Florentine leather in your life, what are you waiting for? It is the most incredible leather out of any brand I've ever tried, especially these older bags. I don't know if I can speak quite as highly as the of the new Florentine leather, but if you look for these old like vintage um, Florentine leather bags, they're just so amazing, the craftsmanship and the quality. So I do believe I already have a whole video on this bag on my channel, and I'm gonna link it below in the description box. And actually I need to go watch it because it, kind of it might be kind of humorous to look back on one of my older videos, but I do want to take you on a quick tour and do like a mini review of this bag, an update as I have been falling re in love with this style. Also, some things have changed. For example, my smartphone size from when I originally had this bag. So there are some updates to the review that I want to make. First thing I want to show you is just some of the fun details on this bag. Of course, you see this um, stitching here, you have the top stitching and like this contrasting yellow color and then this like whip stitch detail in the dark brown. You can see here there's different compartments going on here. So it's not incredibly dissimilar from the Coach Cassie 19 that I just reviewed on my channel, my last video. And the only difference is there's no back pocket here. So you can see here the Dooney and Burke logo, the duck, and then you can see the different compartments, very similar to the Coach Cassie 19. I'm just saying like, Coach didn't come up with that style. It is a style that has been used by designers for many, many years and just been updated. So how this closes is with this little strap that goes through this loop here and it opens up and you have that signature red interior that Dooney does so well. 
you have a front pocket here and then you have um, a back pocket here, a big pocket. Now, I believe when I originally reviewed this bag, my smartphone fit inside this front pocket. No longer. Smartphones have gotten quite large and mine isn't even a max size. Mine is a normal size iPhone. So normal size iPhone does not fit in here any longer. So what I've been using this front pocket for is my car keys and I have a couple lip products in here and then maybe I'll add an eye drops or something like that in this front pocket. And that's what I've been using that for. And I've been putting my phone in this main compartment, which fits just fine. And this is a larger style crossbody. So I do think it would fit like a max or a large size, large size smartphone in the large pocket, just not in this front area. And you can see I have it filled up here. I have my sunglasses and I have my Gucci pouch that has all my essentials in it. I have this rainbow accordion wallet from Coach and I have a hair clip in here. But I do want to show you that a full size wallet will fit in here. It is a very large style. Well, I said it now it won't fit. Here we go. It is a very large style crossbody. So that does work you can fit a full size wallet, no problem. It just takes up a lot of the space. So if I had that and my phone, I could maybe throw some smaller stuff on top or my glasses and that would be about it. I also wanna show you the other thing that I always show you, which is a full size glasses case because I know a lot of people carry glasses. Also fits just fine, but once again, it takes up a lot of the space. So if you're gonna do a one larger item like a full size wallet or glasses case, you're gonna need to carry smaller accessories on top of it, like really downscale your wallet and your other things you're carrying. I also wanna point out that there are some pockets in here that I don't utilize, but that you might want to. So there is a back zip pocket here and there's a little slip pocket on the front wall here if you had other little small items that you wanted to put in. So let me get up and show you some mod shots of what this looks like on the body while you're carrying it. The one thing that I always loved about these this binocular style is the length of the strap. I am five foot nine and I often have a hard time finding cross bodies that will fit me because the straps are so short and it's up here on me. This is on the shortest setting. The shortest, look how long it is. It is almost too long for a tall person. So if you are a very tall person, this is a great style for you. Um, you it will definitely fit you and be long enough. If you are a petite short person, you might have issues with the style because the adjustability is very limited and it only gets longer from here. So what I would do if I were you is take it to a leather worker, to a cobbler, and have them punch some additional holes in the strap. So that way you can hoist it up a little bit. You can still use this buckle and you can shorten it if you want it to. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I am so excited to have this bag back in my collection. There's been a couple times in my history collecting where I have sold something and regretted it and been able to get it back. So I'm very excited. Thanks to my friend Angie for trading with me. As I said at the beginning of the video, check out her YouTube channel in the description box below. If you're new here, I hope you'll consider hitting the subscribe button and joining me here on my channel for my future videos. And if you are one of my subbies, thank you so much for all your love and support. I couldn't do it without you. All right, I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye.